it got started under the safety car of course the rain coming down time after time leading up to the start of the international gt open race but it did manage to stop but still a very wet track but we took the green flag and got racing again maximilian paul of course put in the oregon car on pole position so he led the way in the initial stint carol bash though however had an electric start got away very strongly as did timo rump carl as well getting passed out of aaron walker but this was the major moment carol bash taking the lead heading through the Kerber Arboreto in the initial stages of the race. We saw a coming, well, we saw a moment as well for Stuart Proctor, who unfortunately spun the car, his Greystone GT McLaren finding its way off the track. But then Maximilian Paul, in absolute defiance, would retake the lead, heading down in towards the Retifilio. A great moment for the Oregon team as they led the way in the initial stint. We then, of course, saw the driver change window come to play and Pierre-Louis Chauvet would jump into the car in place of Maximilian Paul, who really did utilize his first stint. Chauvet would be in battle right from the get-go, of course, coming under pressure from James Wallace, who put out an incredible de debut display to take the lead for a brief portion, with Pierre-Louis Chauvet still breathing down his neck. They would make their way down through towards the Lesmo 1, and a pure, pure move of brilliance here from that of Pierre-Louis Chauvet would retake the lead for the Oregon team car, and consolidate that performance. Certainly here as well, we saw the Oregon, Oregon car coming up, stuck on through the watch here, tangling up with James Wallace, Pietro Pirolini getting onto the grass, spinning the car, and unfortunately it ended up in the barrier. But it would not stop Pierre-Louis Chauvet or Max Paul. They took victory here at Monza.